Hey everybody, Ernie Hatmaker here. The landscape has changed. out all the uh, Georgia collards that had um, flowered and made seed pods and there's a ton of them oh there's a ton of them this pile don't know if you can tell but it is a little over two feet tall and it's just the greens their roots and of course you know they came out in little island chunks <laughs> but that's a lot of seeds I've already gathered more than enough seeds for um, planting for next season, which these greens I planted for fall, winter, so that's why they flower in the spring, because I want to have, you know, th that calcium and that magnesium and all that good stuff they offer throughout the winter. Now they're not much for salads because they're so thick, they're thick like kale, but they do wonderfully like spinach and you need a whole lot of them if you're going to cook them down or if you're going to um, can them. We also plan on doing green powder, um, adding some of the collards to it. We do lettuce, you know, just dehydrate the leaves that you get from certain plants and you know, pulverize it into a powder after you dehydrate it, and then you can make soups out of them, or you can just add them to smoothies or whatever. You can even add them to your spaghetti sauce. But anyway, I'm just going to take a few of these pods, and I'm going to put them over where I'm planting other greens. Got my handful, and see how easy they open? Look at all those seeds coming out. on my way to depositing them. I've got lots of uh, zucchini coming out here. This is a golden zucchini plant. Last night it toppled over because, you remember, I was trimming stuff <laughs> in this three sisters bed, and I guess I didn't get them even because it sure did get lopsided with this fruit coming out. Anywho, lesson learned. I'm just going to, I'm not even going to uh, put them in rows, I'm just going to let them do what they do. I'm even dropping the pods out here because that's what they would do in nature. The pods would fall and the seeds would come out. Yeah, that's pretty much my greens planting right there. There are gnats flying everywhere because it's very humid out here. I'm telling you, it's not even 7 in the morning. I think it's like 6.30 and it's overcast and cloudy. All this is going to burn off. It's not going to rain today. All that's going to burn off, and it's already 75 degrees. Woo! When the sun comes out, it's going to be about 103. Sorry, don't want a gnat in my ear. Well, to keep the gnats away from my mouth and my nose, I'm going to get out of here. What do you think? See you in the comments. 